Hello and welcome to another edition of Sunday School Nation with Ken Jones. Presenting the International Sunday School Lesson for Sunday, November 22, 2020. Today's lesson, Sharing Love. Our lesson text, Acts chapter 4, verse 32 through chapter 5, verse 11. We will be reading from the NLT or New Living Translation. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Father God, we ask that you bless this time of lesson and reflection. Thank you for the unifying ministry of the International Sunday School lesson. Please bless your people all around the world. We are asking a special blessing for your people the believers in Gujra, Pakistan. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Anne had grown up in a family with little money, but in college she met Jim, a man from a well-off family. Ann and Jim got engaged a couple of years after they graduated and planned a modest wedding at Ann's home church. The night before the wedding, Ann and Jim had a dinner for their families following the rehearsal. The food was fine, everyone got along just fine, and it looked like the start of a great relationship between two families. When it came time for the parents to give speeches toasting the bride and groom, Jim's father ended his speech saying, It's so wonderful to see our two very different families joined, one rich, one poor, through the love of Ann and Jim. To Ann and Jim, may you have a long and happy life together. As Jim's father sat down, Ann smiled and said to her father-in-law-to-be, That was a wonderful speech, but I have to say, I've never considered my family poor. Jim's father immediately apologized. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Ann's mother chimed in. Here at this church, none of us had a lot of money, but we always shared what we had. When 20 different families come in and share what they have, everyone feels rich. Jim's parents left the rehearsal dinner that night with a new understanding that wealth could mean something more than money and to rethink their biased beliefs about people. How does your church family share its resources? Acts of the Apostles Chapter 4, beginning at the 32nd verse. All the believers were united in heart and mind, and they felt that what they owned was not their own, so they shared everything they had. The apostles testified powerfully to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and God's great blessing was upon them all. There were no needy people among them, because those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money to the apostles to give to those in need. For instance, there was Joseph, the one the apostles nicknamed Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He was from the tribe of Levi and came from the island of Cyprus. He sold a field he owned and brought the money to the apostles. Acts of the Apostles Chapter 4 Verses 32-37 New Living Translation Acts of the Apostles Chapter 5 Beginning at the First Verse But there was a certain man named Ananias who, with his wife, Sapphira, sold some property. He brought part of the money to the apostles, claiming it was the full amount. With his wife's consent, he kept the rest. Then Peter said, Ananias, why have you let Satan fill your heart? You lied to the Holy Spirit, and you kept some of the money for yourself. The property was yours to sell or not sell, as you wished. And after selling it, the money was also yours to give away. How could you do a thing like this? You weren't lying to us but to God. As soon as Ananias heard these words, he fell to the floor and died. Everyone who heard about it was terrified. Then some young men got up, wrapped him in a sheet, and took him out and buried him. About three hours later his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. Peter asked her, was this the price you and your husband received for your land? Yes, she replied, that was the price. And Peter said, how could the two of you even think of conspiring to test the spirit of the Lord like this? The young men who buried your husband are just outside the door, and they will carry you out too. Instantly, she fell to the floor and died. When the young men came in and saw that she was dead, they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. Great fear gripped the entire church and everyone else who heard what had happened. Acts of the Apostles Chapter 5 Verses 1-11 through 11. The New Living Translation The People, Places, and Times of Our Lesson Barnabas. Barnabas means son of encouragement in Aramaic. This was the name given by the Apostles to Hoseas, a Levite from Cyprus. Barnabas was an early convert to Christianity. His character and faith soon brought him into a position of leadership in the church. When Paul was first converted, Many of the believers were afraid to accept him. Barnabas eased their fears by speaking to the church on behalf of the apostle. Barnabas was one of Paul's companions during the early part of his ministry. Levite. The Levites were the priestly tribe of Israel. 
all of Israel's priests are descended from this tribe. However, there is a fundamental difference between priests and Levites. All priests come from the tribe of Levi, however, not all Levites can become priests. They must be descendants of Aaron. Priests are consecrated and were the only ones that could minister at the altar and enter into the holy places. Levites were purified and were set aside to help the priests in performing their duties. This has been the people, places, and times of our lesson. Do you enjoy the old classic gospel music songs like, Oh Happy Day? What about Jesus Can Work It Out? Or music from James Cleveland, Walter Hawkins, Kirk Franklin, Dorothy Norwood, The Mighty Clouds of Joy, Ken Jones and the Ken Jones Gospel Singers, John P. Key, and many 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 more. Be sure to check out the KJM TV Classic Gospel Music Channel. Playing the best in classic gospel music programming. Streaming live every day on YouTube, online, and the Roku Live television platform. There is a direct link below in the description box. Be sure to subscribe. And tell a friend about. KJM TV Classic Gospel Music